And welcome back. This is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Lexicon. He is a random player. I don't know what the deal with all the random player is. He is ranked number three in his platinum division with 2,806 points, 296 wins, and 292 losses. Zergoes! And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the Northwest up against Lexicon. Lexicon is the red Zerg player in the Southwest. The map is Delta Quadrant, which I've mentioned before is actually my worst map. And I assume that I'm especially bad on it against Zerg players. Maybe it's Protoss players that kill me or Terran players, but I always think that it's the Zerg players uh, because I always think that I lose against Zerg players. But, you know, looking back, I probably do really well against Zerg players. Um, especially with my early pressure builds, you always want to get pressure done early on Zerg players because you don't want them to get the two, three, four expansions before you start to attack because they will destroy you every single time. Um, I actually had one game, I don't think I broadcasted it simply because I, I did fall apart in, in production. Uh, I think. I hit 2,000 minerals, so I was just like, you know what, this, this is not me at my best, this is not worth my viewers' time. Uh, actually, I was still stuck on Marines and Marauders, and he brought out Broodlords. Mm. That's a game over right there, I'm like, there's, there's four Broodlords right there. I'm screwed. So I just left, I was just like, good game. Uh, I think that was actually one of the live broadcasting games that I tried to do. Uh, went back, <laughs> like I said, I did two games on live broadcast and I, I just could not handle doing both at the same time. So uh, it was just awful. Not good at all. He's going to scan inside my base. Um, pretty much he's going to see that I have a refinery and a barracks. whoop de freaking do And my SUV is going all around the map. He does not know where the hell he's going. He's going here next, and there's nothing there. Looks like the Zerg player is going for a pool first here. Looks like it was about a 14 or a 15 pool. Not going for the hatchery. I don't say that... can't say that I blame him for that, because this expansion is incredibly hard to hold and of course you need z uh, zerglings to get this expansion which is a lot easier to hold unless of course I go for drops um, oh like right there ooh that's the sweet spot meanwhile I am going for what am I going for three racks there we go would you guys expect anything different from me yeah maybe it looks like he is getting metabolic boost and then pretty much decide to pull everybody off of the gas then. So I assume that he is going for f for a lot of zerglings here. Queen is out. And no, SCV, get out of there! Oh, it doesn't look like they catch it in time. And down goes the SCV. Fourlings are out along with the queen. Like I said, metabolic boost. Zergling speed is on the way. Uh, drone hanging out at the Zalnaga Tower. I'm not sure how I feel about the Zalnaga Tower. It's great if you guys are in cross diagonal positions, but since we're across vertically here, I don't think the Zalnaga Tower is going to play that big of a role in this game. Um, of course, my army can go down this ramp and up this ramp, and boom, expansion. And I'll be out of range of the Zalnaga Tower the entire time. I know because it's happened to me a couple times that I was at the Zalnaga Tower and all of a sudden the guys were in my base and I was like, what the fuck happened? But they just went around it. You can do that. He is going for a hatchery now. Looks like it is late. He does have quite a few lanes out right now. Going for six more, 14 more as those lava came out of that queen just then. So there we go, he is going for mass lings, it looks like. Am I blocked off? Yes I am, and this SUV just proves it. I can't go up there. Oh, okay. Uh, like, there should be a way to queue him to go inside the bunker and then queue out without me having to unload him. You know what I mean? Just a just a simple little mechanic there. And boom, all these Zerglings are on the way. How many of them? Looks like 22 of them are on the way. But I do have three guys in the bunker and a few guys out back supporting 
There we go. Fully loaded bunker. Tessa then goes up and dies, and all the Zerglings run back to their base. Looks like they're going to be defending this expansion here. Yes, they are. Meanwhile, he is going for pretty much nothing. Just, just nothing. And what? How do? I hate this thing. But I assumed that he was bluffing about his army, so I'm going to be sending my uh, counterattack in here. Um, just because uh, in previous games, when that guy sends in that first uh, that first test zerglings, uh, usually it's one of like maybe four zerglings that he has on the map. And then when I saw that nothing else was going to happen, I'm trying to move in. I tried to stim up here, but these guys don't have any drugs available to them, so they could not stim up inside the mineral line here. The queen pops out. Down goes the queen. Looks like he got one shot off. World Warren is on the way. Twelve Zerglings are on the way. I don't know why he's going for the World Warren. He should be going for the Bainling. That best would be my best, I would assume. But I don't know. Maybe he feels I'm too Marauder heavy. But right now, it looks like I have a lot of Marines. I am going for two Marines and two Marauders right now. Taking out an Overlord apparently. I'm sending in reinforcements. They hate the larva, um, so they're taking those out. I did stim up, it looks like. No, I did not stim up, but I'm doing damage anyways. Uh, looks like I will not be able to finish this off. But I'm moving in with my reinforcements, and I scare the queens off just in time for these fine colors to finish. Taking one out fairly quickly once again, these marauders do a lot of damage to those things. 20 damage, and it looks like he's down to just 12 wings that are being produced right now, and two queens. Is that going to be enough? And queen does go down, and these guys aren't going to be focusing on the last one because I didn't think I could finish it anyway, so I wanted to take out the zerglings. Looking at the unit's lost count, it's pretty even here, uh, So I, but I do back off with uh, my marines and my marauders because I want to go back in my base and look to see that I... I'm not spending minerals very quickly here. Um, I am going for the combat shield upgrade, going for the weapons level one. You know, look, look at this. This is all happening right now. You know, I just started this. Uh, just, you know, went back to my base because I was focused on that army battle inside his base much more than I should have. Second refinery is up to get me more gas so I can actually, you know, make marauders. Uh, that That is kind of important. Getting five racks up. Uh, looks like I uh, still have enough for an expansion here, and I should definitely be going for that right now. Um, doesn't look like I am, though. Meanwhile, he is going for a second hatchery inside the main base so he can get more units. He will not be able to mine out of that. It might be closer to the extractor than the other one? Maybe. Maybe he can send, like... No, no. I was thinking maybe he could send, like, three here and three here, but now he... The extractor can't handle that, Captain. He is going for an overseer here, in case I go for banshees. Um, relatively smart play, but yeah, I'm not going for banshees. So uh, that's because he has absolutely no clue what I'm going for. And in fact, here we go. I am going for an expansion. I have plenty of minerals to cover that and to keep producing, it looks like. But I am not producing, it also looks like. Um, all the upgrades are done out of the tech lab. I am going for marines and marauders. Still, and yes, here we go. Second attack wave coming in. Am I gonna... Oh, looks like I took out something. <laughs> Didn't quite see that was. He, has, he does catch it in time to cancel the, fat, the, the hatchery. I do take out the... Um, take out the Overlord, and that does supply lock him here. Uh, so he's pretty much got to produce two Overlords at the same time, continuing to pump uh, all those larva out of his beams. Am I going to have enough to wipe this out? It does look like I am the center for him. And down goes all the, the roaches. Down goes the queen, and he GG's right up on out of there. I'm still not doing that great in mineral management right now. Uh, not producing any um, marines, it looks like. 
but that was the game and I am stoked to tell you guys that because of this game I was finally promoted to Platinum Division. I believe I'm actually ranked 12th in Platinum Division right now. It was so weird um, playing uh, in gold. I actually had uh, one guy after I lost to um, what turned out to be like a 3 or 4 racks, no add-ons. It was crazy. I can't believe I lost to that. Um, but he actually mentioned, he's like, wow, you play a lot better than a gold player. And I'm like, I know, why won't they promote me? Um, I ha actually haven't fought a gold player in like two or three days. It's been purely platinum and diamond. There was one diamond, but you guys saw that. Uh, purely platinum players, except for that one diamond guy. So I was kind of like, okay, they're going to promote me sooner. Come on, let's go. And finally, after, I believe, ten games today... Uh, they did finally promote me. And I probably wouldn't have shown this game if it wasn't for that fact. Uh, so yes, uh, but in terms of this game, constant Zer constant pressure on Zerg, even on a map where you don't feel like um, they'll be able to hold, uh, where they should be able to get a quick third expansion after that quick second expansion. Well, quick uh, third base after the second base. Uh, you always want to get that pressure done on the Zerg players because if they don't go for the the initial push here, the initial Zergling rush or, or Roach push, then they did go for the expansion. You want to get damage done on that as soon as possible. Don't want to let the macro up. So yes, that is the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time in Platinum. Thanks for watching.